Carbon is a pollutant, but it's also a commodity. Australia is set to begin a carbon trading scheme by 2010. UNSW economist Dr Regina Betts is conducting mock trading experiments to see which method is the most effective. The participants are uh, playing a company with emissions and reduction measures so they can reduce their emissions and they come up with their own strategies, they trade with, with each other and we look at the efficiency of their decision making. So when do they invest in abatement technology and uh, or are they more likely buying on the market? As well as uncovering how a carbon market works, the simulation allows participants to prepare for the introduction of carbon trading. It was an experiment in emissions trading and everyone was acting as a buyer and a seller on the market and everyone was given an allocation of permits and were given the ability to sell those permits on the market and you also had some money so you could buy permits on the market. Dr Betts hopes to use her research to convince policy makers of the best way to design a carbon trading market. And so um, the market in emissions trading is a purely designer market. That means the government has so many options to design this market that um, it needs much more guidance on you know, what elements will improve the market from working in the way as I described before, so in the way that it will achieve emission reduction at lowest cost. I think we discovered that the market wasn't particularly rational and the prices end up being a lot higher than we thought they were going to be. Today in Australia we have a lot of the discussion is in, in emissions trading is going around do we give free permits to companies or do we auction them? And my view is based on what I find with the experiment we should auction them because an unbalanced allocation in the outset might lead to a less efficient market outcome.